So taking a short break from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist DLC. I'm going to return to that with Zexalt in a few days. I'm still undecided on whether or not I'm going to be doing Art 5, but I'll decide that as I go. We've been playing the beta for a game that I randomly stumbled across on the PlayStation Store. And, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect. It just looked kind of interesting, so I thought I'd download it. It's called Hardware Rivals. Uh, Hardware Rivals, sorry. And, uh, let's have a look then. This is a beta for a game called Hardware Rivals, so... Um... All these are available. I have no idea what this even means. So we're going to click on Rookies only. I've no idea how to play this game. I've got no idea what it's about. I just saw it for free on the PlayStation Network and I thought screw it, I'll download it and have a look what I think. So it's clearly something to do with cars and something to do with killing people. So it sounds like GTA so far. Still waiting for the loading screen. I'll get back with you when this loads. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Wait, did I get killed? I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing to play this, but... Oh, the PlayStation's doing that annoying sort of noise again. Sounds like a jet engine. First strike. What am I doing? Am I killing these dudes? For what? I am so confused. Token, I don't know what that means, but I've got one. Someone's left the game. I am so confused right now. Yeah, this game's almost over and I've got no idea what I'm meant to be doing. I mean, I assume that, I, I know that that's the gun, I mean, that's not a cannon, but... Wait, why did I die? Eh? This game has done a very good job of explaining itself. I saw someone driving down here, so I'm screwed up my father. I'm assuming I'm on team blue rather than team orange.
somehow. Oh no, I'm getting shot. Oh, nice. Okay. So that was me that got that kill. Nice. Oh, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Just drive around and kill. Drive around and kill things. My kind of game, really. really hate about this is the, the camera angle is like is really slow it's really really unresponsive to move and it's really annoying because it's easy to sort of like there's no automated tracking with it like it should automatically track where the car is facing unless I'm actually actively pulling the, uh, the trigger this is really irritating Interesting concept. It seems a bit like a few old PlayStation 1 games I used to play where there was like, you know, guns on the car and just going around getting people and stuff. But I think Carmageddon's one that's coming to mind or that's something of something completely different, but yeah, I mean it seems like it's an interesting idea. It's not something I've seen much lately, but I don't know, the execution of it really doesn't seem that good. The camera angles is, is basically a game breaker for me. Because, I mean, yeah, okay, it's, I, I like being able to control camera angles, but at the same time, when I let go, I want the camera angle to kind of revert back to the default position rather than having to put it there myself. I'm not pulling the trigger, that generally means I don't want to turn the camera. It's not saving me time, it's just irritating. sensitive as well like you gotta pull the trigger for about three or four seconds before you can actually see any kind of like change in the way that you uh, are looking so you gotta actually keep the uh, trigger pulled and then um, it just sort of like jumps it kind of like goes straight over to the other side in the other direction it's like, quite quick the way it works I don't know I'm not fan of the way the camera angles move and it's kind of a deal breaker. I don't think I'll be getting this game. I'm going to die. I survived, yay. He's still coming after me. Now I'm dead. Thirteen points. I think we're gonna win, maybe. 
for the hell in the game lasts. I don't know what that countdown was for before. Seven more worked that one out, but... Yeah. And the car's hard to control as well, like... It might just be that this is my first time playing it, but the car it seems very, very difficult to control. Especially is like really bad. Team A. I think I was on Team A. Was I on Team A? Can't tell. I was, I was on Team A. Yay! I'll give it another go, another game, but I'll say I'm not really that keen on this. Feels good. I don't know, might just be me. I'm just, I don't seem that, I'm not that keen on this. Part, partly to do with the execution, partly just to do with, I don't know. Um, can you play a quick match? Alright, hang on, what we got here? Rookies only. Uh, attrition. Uh, three rounds of quickfire deathmatch. Right, it seems like just three versions of that last one. Team play. Quick match. Let's just click on quick match. It's really a nightmare for me to read without my glasses on, like with the TV so far away. So if you see me sort of squinting like that, like I do it a lot on my Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, videos, because I'm short-sighted. So, yeah, it's the only way I can see really without my glasses on. But yeah, let me know, drop a comment in the comment section below, tell me what you think. Like, personally, this game hasn't has, has done the opposite of selling this game to me, like... It's it's actively made me know I don't want to buy this. I mean, it's kind of fun if you can get over the. Okay, that's a tank. This time he's on my team. Um, it, if you can get over the camera angles and the controlling of the car, then it's kind of fun. But I mean, it kind of strikes me as kind of very much like Rocket League. Just Rocket League was was actually very good. I actually really enjoyed Rocket League. Uh, oh, okay. No, that tank is not on my side. I think I'm on Team Orange now. Oh, no, wait, no, everything's in blue. Hang on, I'm really confused. I don't know whether it's made by the same people who make Rocket League, but yeah, Rocket League was done well. And this really doesn't seem to be done well. Oh, okay. Again, my PlayStation sounds like a taking off jet, so. You can hear that, it's annoying, I apologise. I've got a screw, I've got a spanner. That might help, I guess. Oh, hang on. Why is my car, why is that car down slightly again? Get inside the pyramid, okay. Yeah. No! I jumped over! I jumped over the gap! No! Wait, hang on. No, the fire's just coming from inside the pyramid. Oh. I'm not going to get this personally. I'm not going to buy this. But you know, if you want to buy it, any of you, any of you watching this, if you want to buy it, feel free. I'm not, I'm not going to judge anyone for their personal choices. Just it's not for me personally. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Like, share on social media, and all that sort of stuff. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.